Hey guys, it's me again, Lohit from The Good One Stands Out. And today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to play chess for beginners. So I know it's been a while since I've uploaded, but here I am back with another good concept for you guys. So you might be wondering, what is chess? Chess is a two-player strategy board game played on a checkered board with 64 squares arranged in an 8x8 square grid. Played by millions of people worldwide, chess is believed to be delivered from the Indian game Chaturanga sometime before the 7th century, Wikipedia. So in chess, there are 16 pieces for each side, 16 pieces for the white side and 16 pieces for the black side. In total, you get 32 pieces. So in one side of the chessboard, there will be one king, one queen, two bishops, two knights, and two rooks, and a total of eight pawns. And the same thing on the other side as well. Now we're going to talk about each individual piece in detail. How it moves, how it captures, and how many points each piece is worth. So this is a pawn. The pawn is worth one point. Now we're going to talk about how the pawn moves. The pawn can only move forward, just like this. However, in the beginning of the game, it can move two squares. And the pawn can only capture diagonally. It, it cannot capture forward. For example, this white pawn can capture this black pawn. This next piece is called the rook, and the rook is worth five points. The rook can move in straight lines, how many squares as the rook wants. It can go vertically and horizontally, and that is how the rook moves. The way the rook captures is, for example, you see this bishop over here, and you see this rook, this white rook over here. You can bring it all the way, it can go in a straight line and bring it all the way here and capture the bishop. That is how the rook captures. This next piece is called the knight. The knight is worth three points. The knight, however, moves in L shapes. It goes forward two squares and moves sideways. That is how the knight moves. The way the knight captures is also in L shapes. It moves forward two squares and attacks its opponent. As you can see, the knight has captured the black pawn. I want to show you guys something special about the knight. So this knight over here is trying to capture this rook, but this pawn is in the way. But the special thing about the knight is that it can jump over pieces. This is the only piece that can jump over pieces. Why is the knight the only piece that can jump over? You might ask, because as you can see, the knight has the head of a horse, and horses in battle can jump over their opponents. Get it? Our next piece is called the bishop. The bishop is also three points, just like the knight. The bishop can only move diagonally, but it can move however many squares as it wants. It can move like this, like this, like this, but it can only move once in one turn. The bishop also captures only diagonally. This bishop can go ahead right over here and get this black knight because it was also in one of the white squares. This next piece is called the queen. It's very, very, very powerful and the queen is worth 9 points. This queen is very, very, very powerful. It can move horizontally, vertically, and diagonally however many squares as she wants. The queen can capture a pawn from diagonally, a pawn horizontally, and a pawn vertically. This piece is the king, and the king is worth 3.5 points. Everybody knows that if your king gets in checkmate, you are out of the game. The king can move any direction, but only one square. Can move there, 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 and there. Like I said, it can move any direction, but only one square. The king can capture this pawn, this pawn, this pawn, this pawn, this pawn, this pawn, and this pawn. 
And if this pond was over here, it would not be able to capture it because I said it can only move one square. Now I'm going to show the difference between check and checkmate. So this, what I have set up on the board is called as check because this pawn can come over here and capture our king, but the king can move away. That is called as check because the king can move away from its capture. Now I have set up on the board an example of checkmate because if the king moves forward, there's the queen to capture it. If the king moves diagonally, the queen can still capture it because it can move diagonal. Um, if it stays there, the, this rook can capture it. If it moves over here, this bishop will get it. And if it goes over here, this rook will get the king. So this is called as checkmate. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. And if, you're, if you already know how to play chess, remember to comment down below your chess experiences. And also, if you are new to chess, remember to comment down below if this video helped you out and started you to get in the game of chess. And if you want to see more videos like this and stay notified, remember to subscribe right up there. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time in a brand new video.